today's tutorial is for those who want to level their mixing experience with the virtual dj software we are diving into advanced settings and tricks which are only used by those who consider themselves to be pros so stick around because you might find something new and interesting and if you're already familiar with all these tips sorry to bore you but feel free to share your ideas in the comments to help us improve or offer other alternatives for beginners don't hesitate to ask questions in the comments if you need specific tutorials or further explanations and we will create specific content to address your need or recommend existing resources that might help so without further ado let's dive into today's video so the first thing we are going to look into our tutorial is how to bypass this connect window this is always required when you just install the software and for you to be able to do that you need to be having internet connection but in other cases where you don't have internet connection there is no way you can do that meaning every time you are going to open a software that window is going to pop up requiring you to connect so today we are going to see how we can disable it so that you can open the software next time without requiring you to connect even though you have not connected yet so we are going to close it for the first time then we move to settings from settings we navigate to options then we type don't we are going to look for this option don't log in as you can see here it's marked no so what we are going to do we are going to mark it yes close this and let's close the whole program and see it whether it will open directly without requiring us to log in as you can see the program has opened directly without requiring us to log in even when you look up here when you are logged in your gmail will appear here in capital letters but here it's showing not logged in and the program has let us in the next thing we are going to look into our tutorial is changing the screen layout of the software and there are basically four layouts which include starter is the one we are currently in and this one is always by default when you just install the software and open it for the first time this one is limited there are no modifications you can make here you will just use it the way it is the next one is essentials layout this one combines the appearance of starter and the pro layout but this one is also limited there are no modifications you can make here which makes it a little bit to be similar to the starter layout the next one in our list is the pro layout when you decide to use this one meaning you know what you're doing and you have better understanding of the software this one is fully customizable meaning you can modify its appearance to your own liking and then the last one in our list is a performance layout this one is also fully customizable allowing you to choose what to display and what you don't want to be displayed whenever you want to change the screen layout you can always access them from up here by clicking on this arrow then you select the one you prefer for the sake of this tutorial we are going to go into much details with the pro layout if you want further explanations to understand the rest of the layouts let me know in the comments and i will be much happy to help you so let's take a look at what we can modify from here the first thing we are going to talk about is the waveform display when we are talking about the waveform display we are talking about this area here it helps you to understand the sound of the song where there is silence vocals beats and all that this one is always by default and it is called shapes another one we can choose is this one right here and it is called the beats and then the last one in our list is this one right here and it's called the colors it is a display like the default one shapes but with little decoration of the colors that's where its name came from but i prefer the default display shapes and here is why i frequently use them in my mixes with the shapes display i can clearly see the effects of each stem applied to the waveform which allows for a better understanding of the modifications made to the song for instance when i remove vocals instruments bends or kick the shapes display provides a visual representation of these changes something the other two displays don't do as effectively whenever you want to change you can always access it from up here by clicking on this drop down arrow then navigate to waveform display and select the one you want moving on to the next step is the position of the waveform they are always up here by default but you can also shift them below the decks making it look a little bit like serato but this one is just a preference you can either leave it up here or shift it down it's your choice there is no position of this considered to be the professional one 
to change the position of the waveform you can always access the app here by clicking on this drop down arrow then navigate to waveform display and then come to position as you can see here it's above that's why you see it's above everything like decks but you can also put it below where it will be displayed down here it's just your choice there is no position considered to be the professional one as i said earlier the next thing we are going to talk about is a jog wheel display when we are talking about the jog wheel display we are talking about this area here it is always in needle by default but there are basically three types of jog wheel display that we can choose from currently we are in the default jog wheel display and this one is called the needle when you see here there is no any other thing shown from here apart from this needle here another type of jog wheel display we have is this one right here and it is called the text and it really seems to be helpful because we have gotten some information here when you look inside the jog wheel we can see the bpm that we are currently playing the percentage of the pitch we are currently playing the minutes of the song which have gone so far and also the remaining minutes of the song when you see up here this original bpm of the song and this is the bpm we are playing when you look at the other side of the deck this original bpm of the song and this is the bpm we are currently playing meaning what we are dealing with is what is inside here or we can also choose the third one which is the last one and this one is called the needle plus text so this is how it looks like what this one does it combines the appearance of needle and the text as you can see the needle is behind the text rotating and we still have this information here the bpm the percentage of the pitch we are currently playing the minutes that so far have gone of the song and the remaining minutes of the song and to summarize it all needle plus text is the best Whenever you want to change the jog wheel display, you can always access it from up here by clicking on this drop down arrow, then navigate to jog wheel display and select the one you would like. Moving on to the next step in our tutorial, we will explore the effects in the samplers. This feature allows you to apply different effects to the samplers and gives you access to the sampler master volume. This is useful for controlling the volume of all your samplers at once instead of adjusting each one individual. To show effects in the samplers, you can always access it here by clicking on this dot, then navigate to show effects. As you can see, we have gotten a new line here with the effects area where you can always choose effects from. And also, we have gotten the two sliders for controlling the strength of the effects. And also, a sampler master volume for controlling the volume of all samplers at once. We will dive into more details about this in a separate video. Next, we will discuss adding extra parts to the parts display area. This allows you to use and access your favorite parts efficiently by switching between them seamlessly. I will create a video specifically about parts including recommendations on which ones to download and start using in your mixes. So when you look at the parts area here, we only have access to one part at a time, but it is possible for us to have access to four parts at a time, and today we are going to see how. To add extra parts to the parts display area, you can always do that by clicking on this door. Then you make sure that these two options are marked. As you can see, we have gotten three more extra part pages where we can choose our favorite parts and access them easily. Finally, let's talk about the key display. If you enjoy mixing harmonically like I do, then this section is for you. By default, the key display is set to musical, which can be a little bit confusing. And this is where harmonic key display comes in handy, providing a better understanding of the tracks you are currently playing. There are two ways to change the key display, and there are only two types of key display that we can choose from. The first one is the musical display, which is the default one, and the second one is the Camelot wheel, which gives you a better understanding of the tracks you are currently playing. The first method you can use to change the key display is by moving up here under the BPM, then click on this key display. As you can see, it has changed from musical to the Camelot wheel, which is more organized than the default one. Or you can go to settings, then navigate to options, and type key display. As you can see, it is marked musical, so now we are going to mark it harmonic. When you close this and come back, you will see that it has changed from musical to harmonic. If you have made it up to this part of this video, I hope you have gotten some idea and with these tips you have talked about apply to your mixing routine, just start considering yourself a virtual DJ Pro already. There is a lot more to cover but definitely not in this video because it will be too boring. So we will save that for future videos to keep things interesting. If there is anything you didn't understand from the tips we have covered, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so that you never miss any updates whenever I upload a new video. 
see you in the next one